What's up YouTube, I'm Up Thomas Prime Time and today I'll be starting a new Let's Play series on Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2. This series will be replacing the No Man's Sky series, which as many of you know there's only one episode because well the first episode was just a bit boring and I've been playing the game a little bit and it's really boring now. So I decided to replace it with Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Now, as some of you may know, I haven't recorded in a little bit because, well, I haven't really got any reason apart from I've just been wondering what to do with the No Man's Sky series and of what vehicle to do a review on next. I'm planning to do a review on the Insurgent. It may be old, but yeah, it's still good. I might, might do a little challenge between the Duke of Death and the Insurgent. And there's a little weed here. Isn't he supposed to be on the battlefield fighting zombies? Now back to business. With Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2, it's like the first game, but we have the backyard mode. Over here we have the plants and over there the zombies. And this little critter won't stop following me. Now, as you can see, I'm playing as the orange. The orange's name is Citron. So, let me, I'm going to quickly show you the characters before we get into a game. First we have Citron. And then the Rose. Not really too sure what she he does. So, just some sort of time bomb that slows things down. Her magic thistle. Oh, I can't attack the still guy. She has her main attack, which reminds me of the move Blaster Mine does in Skylanders, and then the move that. Apparently turns characters, well, zombies into goats. By looks of thing. And this is the Easter hat. Well, the Easter hat that I gave her. Then we have Colonel Corn. I'm showing you the character in his special outfit, which is some pock on the back. Apparently, he's got his classic corn crackers. His special attack. Which I find really cool. Better barrage. And there seems to be some airplanes up there. And then a shot shot, or whatever that is. There's one of these on the zombie side. But I'll show you that in the next Plants vs. Zombies video. Then we have Pea Shooter, one of the original characters. His P cannon ain't that powerful, but yet it's original. We have the bomb, or whatever it's called. I just want to call it the bomb. The P daka, the P gatling, or the gatling P, is, as it says in the middle. It's like a machine gun, and then hyper P. Same attack like Citron, of where he goes really fast. Oh, I haven't showed you what he does. I'll show you his attacks last. And then we'll get into an online game. Then we have my his second favourite, the Chomper. His main attack, well, special attack is digging. And then he jumps up. If you quick enough you can make him eat the zombies from underneath he has some sort of bomb well mine and a goo attack I have no idea what it does then we have the sunflower but the one I'm playing as is the metal petal he has metal blast which is a bit more powerful than his normal one I can't use the L1 attack because that's a healing one. 
we have this sunbeam. Right, and I got that right as well. Pretty normal attack. And then it can spawn in a sunflower in a little part. A little reference to the original Plants vs Zombies. And why is that guy keep on following me around? And then we have the cactus. And then what I got is camo cactus. And camo, of course, he's already a plant. Hmm. Okay. He shoots little plants now. He has some kind of mine as well. A potato mine. And then just some walls pretty funny because they have little faces on then a special attack oh you know what I'm going to quickly attack some zombies you know this one has a special attack as well That's pretty interesting. Now how do I get out of this? Well there I am. He's just full on still. Let's take a look around at this place quickly. Right, that is Crazy Dave's house on top of a tree stump apparently and we have the plants side by and I died so let's get into an online match now oh, wait I remember I need to show you Citron first as you saw earlier Citron can turn to a ball called Citron ball if you press L1 he speeds up and R1, he has a charge attack. Prison Triangle will turn him back to normal. Then he has his orange beam. Not that powerful, but yet it is good to use. He has an EM Peach. That's pretty funny. And then a shield. So let's get into an online match now. Oh, yeah, I need to go here first. Hmm, there's welcome map, Mi mixed mode, turf takeover, team vanquish, gnome bomb, suburbanation, and vanquish confirmed. Let's go for welcome map. Oh, wait. Ah, I'm going to do a different one because I can't use my custom characters. Let's do Gnome Bomb. Why you stop following me? That weed just loves following me. And in the game there's always he's some weeds running around fighting the normal zombies. Oh, we're on the plant side. I'll just play a Citron. He's one of my favourite characters. The gnome is dangerous, put it on those tombs. And I was like, my team is already winning. Thank you, Plants vs Zombies gods. Wait a second. I recognise this map. And I have the gnome. And I'm going to die. Run! We must defend it. Ow. Killed by a soldier. So I must get back to my team. I know that there's a kernel corn by that. Come on plants, destroy the tomb. Yes.
EMP. Or should I say EMP? Oh, I was actually shooting Colonel Corn then. There's the last one. Must get there without being caught. Ah, uh, being shot. Quickly. Shoot the scientist. Nope. Killed by an imp. How embarrassing. Come protect it, guys. And I have no idea why I just did that. And the winner is the plants. This is actually the first time I've ever won Gnome Bomb. And there's a dolphin up there. And it's like the guy in the middle has the new outfit for Super Brains. I had two kills. So I'm going to try and play one more game of Plants vs Zombies. He's now get back. I'll get right back to you when the next game starts. And we're back. And it looks like I'm on. The zombies team now. And it looks like Super Brains has a new outfit. I'll be showing you these guys in the next video. Ooh, but for now, I'm just going to play as Super Brains. And it looks like he's wearing a toaster on his head. You better be ready for this. Get it? No? Bad joke. Wait, what the? Oh, I forgot I wasn't using the actual gun. Wait, how do they fly? Ah. Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Super Brains down. I repeat, Super Brains is down. I hope one of the zombies has it. I can build a robot. Mr. Electro. Mess diffuse bomb. Or not. I'm going to try and play as GM. Because why not? I'll also be showing you this character in the next video. Lol. <laughs> the character customizations in this game is just hilarious. Whoa. And yet, Super Brains has it. Follow the zombie. Yes. Calling for my Z Mac. Wait, what? Wait, who's in there? Oh, there's a rose. And I killed the rose, apparently. Good zombies have to gnome. 
What the? Pea shooter and a rose. What the? Oh, there's a goat. The rose did that. By looks of things. Zombies have Linoom. And yet it's a goat who has the bomb. Ow. <laughs> Look at that pea shooter. And yet, the uh, numbers being diffused. You know, I'm at end the video now. So, you know, I'm just going to carry on recording for a little bit. Just to see what happens. Hmm, that normally teleports me. So, let's get back into the fight. And I missed. And I was just about to revive them as well. Ah yes, got a kill on the kernel corn. Let's do this. Sneak past all the zombies. Or, I mean, sneak past the plants. And I missed. Run into the portal. You know what? I'm just going to end it now. I'm up to from 10. No, wait. Make sure you like and subscribe. Turn the notifications on. And I'm up to from 10. And I'll see you all next time.